In this video, we are going to do a quick overview of atrovin, also commonly known as ipatropium bromide. So that is nebulized. Typically, it is found in a little, what we call a bullet, usually packaged 0.5 milligrams in 3 mLs, uh, which is going to be nebulized. So our atrovin is considered an anticholinergic, which means that it blocks the action of the acetylcholine neurotransmitter. It also, because of that, inhibits the parasympathetic nervous system, specifically in the airways. In addition to being an anticholinergic, it's also a bronchodilator. So indications for our atrovent would be our bronchial asthma, our COPD, emphysema, chronic bronchitis patients, uh, our anaphylaxis, um, and it can also be helpful with our burn inhalations or any toxic inhalation patients because of the potential bronchospasms or bronchoconstriction. Uh, contraindications for our atrovent is any kind of known hypersensitivity to atrovent or atropine. Some of the adverse effects you may see with your atrovent is going to be like tachycardia, nausea, vomiting, uh, sometimes headache, blurred vision. Our adult dose for that is going to be 0.5 milligrams in a nebulizer, and you're always going to give it with albuterol, usually just the 2.5 milligrams. When we have our 2.5 milligrams of albuterol and our 0.5 of atrovin put together, we usually talk, uh, refer to that as a duonem. For our pediatrics, if they are at least two years old or weigh more than 20 kilograms, they're gonna get the adult dose of 0.5 milligrams. Remember, it's gonna be mixed with your albuterol. If they are under two years of age or they weigh less than 20 kilograms, they're gonna get half that, so 0.25 milligrams through the nebulizer with the 1.25 milligrams of albuterol. Uh, there is no repeat dose for atrovent. We only give this once. Uh, for some things to note, it's not 100% clear, but there is some confusion that exists with some patients that have soy or peanut allergies uh, being a contraindication for atrovent. Uh, reason being is the active ingredient in your atrovent is something called soy lichen, which is the catalyst that is um, the contraindication for these patients. Uh, with our nebulized uh, atrovent that we usually carry in the field, this is not typically in it. It's usually your combivent MDIs that have this, but it's still something to keep in mind when we're giving it to these patients. If you'd like to learn more about Atrovent, you always have your pharmacology manual to refer to, and the National Institute of Health is a great resource for any kind of medication you'd like to learn more about.